Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a quick video. Um, no BS. All right, on your EC135 main rotor blades, there's grounding cables, or they're called bonding cables. It's the wire that goes from the hub to the blade to ground the blade. And when you're doing your daily, you're going to want to take a look at that thing. So go up there, and if it's all rusted, that might be an issue. And you're going to want to go up there, and you're going to want to wiggle it around. If you grab onto it, and you move it around, and you can hear a crinkling sound like this, That means that there's broken wires in there and you're going to need to replace that sooner rather than later because that's a grounding item if it breaks obviously cool simple so not a big deal all right so real easy the part number for this cable it's called cable complete it's lima 623 mike 1005101 a side note on that is it has a shelf life date it gives you a manufacturer date on the label Next shelf life action uh, is in 10 years, and then the shelf life end date is 20 years, honestly. So if it's sitting in your stock for 20 years, it's trash. If it's sitting in your stock for 10 years, I think you probably got to inspect it and ch check for corrosion. Either way, you go talk to um, Airbus about that. That's not what this video is about. Short video. Next, go to the IPC. It's in the parts catalog for the EC-135 IPC 62-35. 0101 Bravo. That's my serial number aircraft is inside of this one. It's item number 70. It's the part number I gave you. How do you replace it? You go to the maintenance manual, the AMM. You go to 6231004-2. Shows you the cable. And that's the removal and installation of the hubcap support for the main rotor hub shaft. No big deal, right? We've all probably done that. Anyway, it shows you how to attach it and the torque. And there's a washer above it and below it. Also, if you're going to do this, you're going to reference the, the maintenance manual for installing this on the main rotor blade. But also after you're done, you, it says to check the electrical resistance of the grounding connection. So check for whatever the resistance minimum is. And if it's not good enough, you got to do what the manual's telling you. Anyway, really simple video. Just trying to help you guys from um, Unnecessary out of service time. If your pilot goes and does a pre flight on this thing and it's broken, that cable's broken, you're screwed. So have someone stock your call. All right, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. All right, later.